Let's go, let's go, let's go! Boom! Nice. Hello viewers and welcome back to part 6 of Evil West. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, five. Lasting impression. Kick off. That sounds good. Where the heck did it go? Looks like I'm getting closer to its nest. <clears throat> Ugh, what a stench. Ratatouille. Gotcha. There's more rats. Oh no. I don't even have an arm anymore. But it's still coming. No! Oh, ah! Come on, coward!
Care to explain what happened here, Bloom? Oh, no. uh, well, I was sent here to investigate reports of a novel breed of sanguisuge. When I arrived, I encountered a group of familiars, apparently sent here by their masters. That was a familiar? How come a human turned into that thing so quickly? Well, excellent question, sir. My thesis is that their transformation is linked to the blood from these creatures somehow. The how is what I'm stuck on. Uh, we better take one of those things back with us to the lab. Still beats me what those familiars were doing here. Well, from what I could gather, they were sent on a transport detail, securing a convoy of carts filled with some curious, wriggly little creatures they brought from the Callum sawmill. No, we need to check that place out. off to in such a hurry. Bar run out of whiskey? Jess, when we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. He'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of battle wounds. The ones William got, <clears throat> no way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be they... Uh... They infected him? No. No fucking way. Jess, hold your horses and just think about it. The Institute is infiltrated, and they let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say... The man who developed that weapon you're carrying... Edgar, our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Morapass? That plan that was supposed to be a base for a cure one day? I'm not gonna gamble my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. Tabano and his lunatic spawn had taken the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. The plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, and you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. And no one asks you to. But if I fail... You and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us and a war we can't win. I got this, okay? Just keep an eye on that nosy lady doctor. And stay close to William, just in case I don't make it back in time. <laughs> Such a serious moment and then... Such lovely music. Glad you brought Bloom back in one piece. They're waiting for you.
That's what worries me. It's not something you can orchestrate overnight. Until recently, the Sangrasus reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow, but effective process. But now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. They're fierce and resourceful. But still anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards. Mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is De Bono's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. God, why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi! Holy moly, where are my notes? <clears throat> As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. <sighs> Diamagnetism, polyphase system. Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is. Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts. Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent, as in I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But, if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well... Maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original Disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? Got reports about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Virch? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonance. Okay, transport. okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first and clear the way. Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Right. Roger that, Mr. Jesse. Now it's really cool. That's some heavy machinery there. Wonder if I can get it working. Dear Alice, I hope you and the children are well. Yesterday we came across something down in the mines that I can't explain. Imagine a wall of gemstones harder than diamonds. Angus tried to break it apart using dynamite. But it didn't budge. The higher-ups instructed Angus to use a much larger charge. But all that did was cause a cave-in. Many men were lost. Angus and Eastwood among them. Got it.
teleport. Thank you. Any luck with the coils? No. They must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Thanks. An electrical device blasts a vehicle discharged temporarily disabling and electrocuting the enemies while being perfectly harmless to humans. It needs to recharge between uses. Press X to use. Let me enlighten you folks! Intense, eh? 1890 Baxter. With the creation of this new invention, a new era has arrived. This marvel of modern science will empower us in ways we never could have imagined before. Like the invention of the repeating rifle and the Gatling gun, it will revolutionize our ability to wage war against our natural enemies. Down those rails. And how would I do that? There's got to be another way down. Money. Out of my way.
that other switch. Dear Alice, <coughs> I'll soon be returning home as the mine has been shut down. Agents of the Rentier Institute showed up and ordered everyone out. No one knows what they're doing down there, but there are strange things afoot. Today is my last day, and I am glad of it. There's something evil in the darkness of that mine, and I look forward to leaving it behind. Just a little more. Just move. Too high. All right now. Indian. That worked. That's good. Over here on the side. Just let me know, guys. Do you want me to talk more or talk less? You know, I know sometimes you can be distracted. People talk too much. Mr. Jesse, I think I found a shortcut. That's a rusty shortcut, Verge. Yeah. Well. Course it's not working. Luckily, you have a faithful sidekick who can kickstart that thing. <sighs> and that's the end of the video. Goodbye.